Hello friends, this is Cold Run. Welcome back to Subnautica. We are here on the SS Pigeon and I'm going to try this, but yeah, so we can't move until the engine's online. Okay, I just want to see what now that we have sonar what it's like. Activate, no, not sonar. We have this I don't know what it's called. Is this sonar? I want to see what happened. How do we go down? R is down, right. So, like, will it show me on the map here when when we're about to hit ground? I don't... Is that, like... Yeah, so the sound, it looks like... What was that? It shows something. I don't... Is that my ship banging into it? And how do I see what my, like, shields are? I'm at 84% health, so I'm dying, clearly. Um, oh, no, 84% energy. That's not health, that's energy. Or, uh, you know, uh, gas, fuel, uh, electricity. Power cell? I don't know what the term is. Yeah, beep, 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 or like when we're getting close to something. So that's good. I was hoping it would show up here, but maybe I actually have to activate sonar for that. Let's try that. Does anything show up here? Not really. Yeah, I don't know why my health doesn't go down there. Maybe the ship is just that sturdy that little boops don't matter. Anyway, that's not what this video is going to be about. This video is... Oh, I have to turn off the engine, right? Uh, engine okay. So, what this video is going to be about instead is me trying to uh, explore the bulb zone a little bit more and get a scanner room up there and then, yeah, and see what I find. I'm on my way back to the base I have currently... to the scanner room I currently have set up in just outside the mushroom forest and my plan is before I actually deconstruct the scanner room I've taken my friend Bennett's advice and made a few different beacons which I want to try to use more and so the first thing I want to do is find a scout out a good area to put this in by in the bulb zone so I'm going to go to the I'm going to go to this base in the mushroom forest. I'm going to find a place if I see if I can find a place about seven or eight hundred meters away in the direction of the bulb zone and see if that will and, and, and see if I can put a beacon down somewhere that'll be that'll feel good. All right, Zappy Island is to the I'm tempted to just go to Zappy Island directly, but let's try going this way. Let's try going... Wait, no, west is where we just kind of came from, right? No, where... We came from s southwest. Let's try... Hmm. I don't... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Should we go north? No, let's go... What's to the northeast of here? What's east of Zappy Island? Let me check that out. What's east of what's north northeast of here? I don't think it's the bulb zone. I'm actually not sure. Probably some other hellscape that I haven't yet discovered. So things have shifted into purple. Is this the mushroom forest purple? Oh, bone shark, okay. Bone sharks and ampeels. Yeah, this is a bulb zone. Okay, good. So we got the big bulb over there. How far away are we now from the cameras? 454. Okay, so let's keep going. I have a feeling it's going to be tough to find anywhere that's remotely safe or comfortable. 
Yeah, there's bone sharks swimming here. It's like shark in Ampeelville. And I hear that. So we're starting to get into Reaper territory. Which is not ideal. Ooh, what's down there? So we got bone shark territory. Oh, no, never mind. It's just like a bone shark cave. I just visited their home. Sorry, friend. The question is, do we just say screw it and set up... Oh, God! That's probably a... That was a bone shark or an ampeel. It was one of the two. It's something that slammed into me. I didn't slam into it. Hmm... I feel like at some point I'm just going to have to pick a place and try to fight enemies off of it. I don't know. I don't know that there is a safe place in, in here. There's no safe in the bulb zone, I mean. So I might just have to make one and hope that it doesn't get destroyed while I'm doing scans. How far away am I now? 600 meters. Uh... Let's just keep going northwest a little bit more, just to see. Yeah, but I don't think it's going to be... Oh, look at that! The bone shark's got the, got the disease, too. It's got the... not the disease... Oh, yeah, bacteria and infection's a disease, right? Yeah, that's... Uh, it's got the... it's got the same... what I assume is the Kara thing. So, sandy area... And giant drop off. Huh. Local scans show a nearby opening, leading to a biome with extensive fossilized remains. You have my interest. You also have my bone sharkitude. Look at all the bone sharks here. Holy shit. This is Bone Shark Central. What are you? Oh. All right, you know what? We're at 50% health. Let's, um... This is... Wow, the Bone Sharks are all over the place. Yeah, this is a little bit silly. Um... I think this is gonna... I think I'm gonna see if I could set up shop here. I think it's... We're gonna be eaten by Bone Sharks a lot, but I, I don't know where we won't be eaten by Bone Sharks in this area. I feel like we just have to... Pick an area and repair it if it gets destroyed. If it, because it, we've seen things. I don't know if it'll get fully destroyed or if it'll still be repairable. In any case, this is at least repairable. Oh yeah. Maybe we set up shop here. This is kind of an interesting area. Yeah, let's set up shop here. Uh, beacon, beacon, who's got the beacon? Six degrees of cold runs beacon. I just stopped back at base. I'm on my way back to the the bulb zone base. Because so I only had a couple of pieces of magnetite left. So not really much there. So I'm going to hopefully find some ways to farm farm some magnetite nearby if the if there's if there's if the solar panel works down there if the solar panel doesn't work down there I'll have to go out and because I'm totally out of aerogel which I would need for a thermal reactor now the big first test here is whether the base is even still there and up and running or if it's been attacked by bone sharks because we've been away from it for a while it's looking okay but it's hard to tell from the outside sometimes with these Huh, so no, so solar power does not work. Yeah, so solar power does not work down here. Good to know. 
Um, so I do need a thermal reactor for this. Okay. So where do I find gel? What was that? Oh, that was... Yeah, bad time to freeze game. Bad time. The game is totally frozen right now. So that's a mesmer. I was wondering whether it was bone sharks eating them, eating those things, but I didn't see bone sharks. No, it's mesmers snacking down. Okay. So now I have to find... I have to find aerogel somewhere. I don't know how. I don't know where I'm going to find aerogel. Um, or not gel, what are they called? Uh, those gel sack, at least. Maybe there's some in here? I don't think so, though. I'll take another look in this base, because I can use at least more... Uh, I could use a flashlight, is what I could use. Flashlight? Yes. I could use some more shale, at least, but and hopefully I'd find some... Hopefully I'll find some, some gel while I'm here, but I'm not, I'm not hopeful. Well, I'm hopeful, I'm hopeful, but I'm not optimistic. Yeah, so I found a bunch of uraninite in here, but, and so uraninite and rubies, but nothing, no, no gel, unfortunately. So I'm at a little bit of a loss about what to do next or where to look for this. I could just keep exploring a little bit, see if I could find another cave that hopefully has some of the stuff I want in it, but I don't know. I'll say that this is probably the first time in the game that I felt like I wanted the Cyclops, not because it would, like, breach any new areas, but because it would make it so that I could just <clears throat> go up and put my stuff there. Whereas right now I can't really do that. Um... Yeah, like, I have to go all the way... I have to, it's a pretty far way back to... Yeah, it's like 1,500 meters to get back to... Uh, my... Get back to my main base, which is not great. But I think I don't, I don't have much choice right now if I want to use this. And I do want to use this. Okay. Let's go find some aerogel. You know what? I've changed my mind. I was about to go explore old areas, but... I think I've had enough of that. I, I don't... It's not like I've had enough of that, like I'm sick of it or anything, but I think I want to... I think I'll circle back later to that base. For now, I'm going to go check out What's-Her-Face. Uh, CTOU. She's up to the north. I don't know what's there. I think it'll be fun to explore. By fun, I mean I'm sure I'm going to die in a horrible new way. So where are you, CTOU? You're north. This way. Yeah, there it is. 500 meters down, which we can now get to in the in the sea moth, or at least explore. I feel like this is going to take us to a new biome. And maybe... And here's my hope. Here's the reason I'm circling back to this now. Is my hope is that it's not just a new biome, but maybe a biome that has aerogel in it. Or not, I keep calling it aerogel. Those gel sacks, or whatever they're called. But it's so far. Oh my god, it's so far away. Yeah, this could be, this could be a, 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 there's any number of things that can kill me. So far, the worst thing I've come across is the Reaper Leviathan. And there's, no, no, there's not. It was the, there was also that, like, the hammerhead thing. Like, the, the neon blue hammerhead, the hammerhead that I saw in the dead zone. But hopefully this won't take me to the dead zone. Got still a thousand meters to go. This is going to be, yeah, this is going to be some new biome of death. But note to self, if I die here, it's okay. If my ship gets wrecked and I die and I have to remake it, oh my god, here we go. Here we go. Deep breath. You got, like, mountains here. Got bony Maroni there. Yeah, this is a whole new section. What is this? Another vent! Hello. 
Oh, fucking god. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. You don't want me going near your vent. Understood. I'm gonna get out and scan it in a sec or see if I can scan it, but... Let me, uh... Yeah, but maybe that'll be a little, a little bit. Uh... Alright, repulsion cannon. Excellent. Is this scannable? No, this is probably just the same alien vent. Like, it's probably... I mean, it's not the same alien vent, but it's probably a, um... You know what? Come at me, bro. No, never mind. Don't come at me, I guess. No, don't. Oh my god, I hate that. I hate that. Going for the. Going for. No! Fucking god! Erosion pairs in the land masses here suggested they once floated on the surface? Okay, let me see what you're talking about in a second. Let me get up here and repair. Like, this is a place I might actually bring. This feels... This feels relatively safe right here. Like, this top place to bring my... Bring my... Uh, the SS Pigeon. I might I might do that. Not Not yet, but like... I could definitely see myself doing that. So these rocks were once floating up above? Not necessarily. They could be talking about other stuff in this area. Because this looks like just like a flat out mountain. By the way, do I have the way a way to open to you to get those things yet? It feels like I should. I'm just not sure. Oh my god, this is like yeah, this is Shark City, USA. I just want to see if there's anything cool there. Probably not, but yeah, I don't think that's anything. But I don't know. It's it's hard to tell because I'm being bitten. Um, yeah, you're really defensive of that little thing. Let's leave it alone for the moment. Again, let me... Gosh, I don't... What is that? This is a wreck. This is another wreck. What a cool wreck. It's like stuck on a top of a tree. Okay. Uh, first repair. For first repair you. Oh, and I have torpedoes. I forgot about that. Let me look in here first, though. Uh, scanner. Let me get a square for art thou scanner. Scanner. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Nothing in here. Oh, it's another one of these that's going to be disorienting as heck. Anything in the lockers? Nothing I see. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm already, I'm already lost. Let me. Where's, where's my, uh, where's my sea moth? It's going to point to the exit. So I put the mark, first marker there. Excellent. Is this something I can use? No. Okay, so we got chaos in here. Utter chaos in here. I misspoke. Yeah, it's utter chaos. What are you? Propulsion cannon frag. That was what was in the box before. In the box that the sharks were guarding. Okay, so I won't worry about that. I'm reasonably sure that was a propulsion cannon. Nothing on the ceiling. Can I open the door? No, I can't. So I wonder, is this the only entrance this wreck has? Or are there other ways to attack it?
There may not be other ways to attack it, but... <gasps> Fucking God. Okay. I don't th think there are, but I'll take a look just in case. I don't think nothing there, nothing there. Is this something? I think this is that's just another way to get in to to see what I saw from the inside. Huh. That's the nothing, right? That's the um, Cyclops hull fragment. Yeah, maybe this was just for that. Because other than that, I don't see anything. I'm sure that it would have been good before I got the Cyclops, just not super great right now. Okay. Let me, again, let me, as always, let me know if there's something I'm super obvious I'm missing here that I should go back and... Or even not super obvious that I should go back and look for here. But I'm not seeing anything right now. So what else, then, is down here? Because we're going for... No, that's... We're going the wrong way. We're looking for... What is it? The, the thing that's 500 meters down, the CTOU's thing. CTOU's life pod, yes. So that's what we're looking for. Because we'll eventually be able to set up shop here the same way we do elsewhere. I keep losing it, losing the thread. Where are we looking? Down there. So we have to find a way to get down there. What is that? Uh, we're in Thornville. Okay, we're in Thornville. What is that? Pick up blood oil. Okay. Blood vine. We found blood vine and blood oil. Can I cut, can I cut the blood vine? Two blood oils. Okay. Can I... The fuck was that noise? Hello? Daisy! No! Shit! Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, fucking God! Okay, okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I treated your cousins very well. I promise. Okay, I wasn't expecting crab squittery. Okay. They like the light. I have to be careful about that. I remember that. I remember that much. Okay. Let's try that again without the heart attack. Um. Can't really scan that. Oh, you're something new. A spine fish. Like a hoop fish cousin? New creature discovered. Yeah. Okay. New blueprints. We're getting a whole bunch of new blueprints. This was a good idea. I'm glad I came here. Nope, don't access the torpedo bay. Enter. Thank you. <clears throat> so let's see what we got. Blood vine. This species of kelp grows in sparse copses deep on the ocean floor and provides shelter for an array of distinct fauna and megafauna. That's not good. The idea of megafauna is not good. Survival at these depths is challenging, and the life forms which make their homes here have developed unusual coping mechanisms, including a bleaching of spigen pigment 
dependency on naturally occurring metals and oils to adjust temperature and pressure. I guess that's the blood oil. And in some cases, even electrical defense mechanisms. Yeah, that's the crab squid. The vibrant red oils which seep from the blood vine coagulate into semi-hard pustules, lovely, which frequently fall loose and form a vital food stuff for the local ecosystem. Ooh, I can probably eat it. Or are otherwise reabsorbed into the ground over time. Okay. There's one more thing. The deep shroom. Oh, wait. Did it say anything? Yeah, no. didn't. Deep shroom. Um, a discolored relative of the acid mushroom adapted to low light conditions. Considerably more acidic than its shallow dwelling cousin. May have applications in advanced fabrication. Processed into hydrochloric acid. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Um, what's bumping against me? I really don't want to turn the light on more than I have to. I want to get these because I feel like if they're useful, I can make, I can farm them at home. No, god damn it! I, I'm going to kill someone. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Okay. We're going to keep going, because we don't enjoy living, apparently. So there's more pustules. What are you? Can I scan you? Ghostweed? Okay. Inventory full. Oh, no. Inventory's full. Um. Shit, what do I... Do I drop blood oil? Do I drop? Let's drop an, a deep shroom. Let's drop two deep shrooms. Because I want one. I want to be able to cut this, whatever this is, the ghost thing. Okay, we cut the ghost thing. Um, I should probably leave at this point. But this place looks intensely cool, even though everything here is going to kill me. Let's go down. Let's go down because we're tired of happiness. I'm just kidding. There was no happiness in this game to begin with. So we got something else. What are you? That's a sound. It's like a gurgly sound. Can I scan you? No, you're like just one of those tree growth things. I am glad I did not come here before. What was that? Something's stomach was gurgling. It was like... Oh god, this place is going to be a nightmare, isn't it? I don't know what's coming out of these walls, or if it's just a matter of getting lost, but nothing good lives here. Okay. Okay. Rah! What are you? So, there's a lot of the oil stuff down here. Ooh. Oh, no, that's the rouge stuff. I think that's just the rouge stuff we've seen before. God, the sounds, I don't like them. Hello? Uh, there's no way you're friendly. Zero percent chance that you're friendly and I don't have my stasis gun with me. Do I risk it anyway? I don't know. Let's not risk it right now. I Let me risk getting out of it for this though. Just to see if this is new. It's not. I've seen that before. No god, no. Enter the sea mark. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm sure that thing is not going to be friendly. 0% chance it's friendly and I'm not ready to deal with it without my stasis gun. Okay. What is that? Is this... 
the sin no this is the same thing it's just full grown like spininess Okay, here we, we found the life pod. Quick, what, what is that? Something's bopping on me. Is it these things? I feel like that would be too much to hope for. Cyclops depth module mark one. Nice. PDA. Data. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I'm sorry, CTOU. It doesn't look like you had a happy ending. I mean, we knew this sunk here, so I guess we already knew that. This, it's funny. This feels like an interest. You are what I was looking for. You are exactly what I was looking for. No, now I want to get to the storage. Uh, storage. What do I have in storage? All right, let me eat a food first. And I will also drink a water. And I will also drink another water. Uh, and pop those two things inside there. Give me the gel sack. Yeah, this is... I'm not even going to mark this place because I feel like I want to put a base there. Well, not a base there because there's no... There's no way this gets sunlight. Well, actually, it's pretty sunny here. I might get sunlight. I'm not optimistic, though. But I think I'm going to look for... I'm going to come back to this spot, definitely. But let me see if there's any other gel sacks while I'm here. There's just, there's so much possible stuff here that I, this may, this is, oh gosh, and I don't hear leviathans. There's probably, again, there's probably other horrifying things ready to eat me, but I like this area. What are you? Oh, you're the thing from before. You got rubies down here. I'm just looking for more air, more gel sacks. If I could find a couple more gel sacks before I leave, that would be lovely. Um, what's this now? I guess we're almost 600 meters down. This. Did I'm hearing things? I swear. I'm hearing like like. It's you. It's probably you, you skittery little jerk. You, I'm calling you a jerk. You could be very nice for all I know. <gasps> you have your, one of those angler things. That's what was banging into me. I don't want to get out. I don't want to get out and see it. Because, again, I'm pushing my luck staying here already. Look at this. This is like a... A poison river? Oh, nope, 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 nope. I'm not I'm not doing this right now. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 nope. With an extra helping of nope. I don't know what this is. I don't... I, I'm... I'm okay not exploring this just yet. I There's so much else to do. And this is like a bridge too far. I would just I just want another like couple of, of gel sacks. And then that will be a happy cold run. What is that? Is why what's that ringing? Is that just a, a new soundtrack that I triggered? I think it's just a new soundtrack. Okay. 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 Okay.
Ya. It's this thrumming horror vibe to it. Ah, <gasps> Jill Sachs. Oh, I missed you. I, I was about to miss you anyway. No. Okay. How many gel sacks do we have? We're full up. I think it's time to leave. Yep, definitely time to leave. Time to leave. It's leaving time. These are the things they said were were um were once on the surface. Oh, and they got the the clingers that are keeping them held up. I'm sure they're not called clickers. I don't remember what they're called. There's a lot. Are these? This has got to be quartz, right? 100% that's quartz, unless it's like a more advanced thing that's not quartz, but it looks like it. Yeah, that's quartz. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Oh, this is cool. This is intense, intensely cool. Right, let me take a second here to to read because we got a lot of stuff that opened up to us now ghost weed grows exclusively in deep waters where its pale pigmentation is visible on the fewest wavelengths I probably didn't need this I got excited fauna spinefish small school mentality prey fish Closely related to the hoopfish. Gray coloration, um, a combination of near translucent flesh with white rib like markings give it, it gives it a deathly appearance. Yeah. Oh, that's not its actual ribs, that's just markings on it. Uh, it takes advantage of this to avoid the attention of its predators. Behavior moves in schools for protections, will, but will di disperse and flee if necessary. Whereon those fortunate enough to escape the gaze of their assailants will make for the seafloor and hide amongst the detritus. detritus. Okay, so it gives a little low-calorie camp food. Data downloads. Aurora survives. Here we go. Chief Technical Officer, you. Flotation devices failed. We're flooding. Evacuate. Wait. I can reconfigure the O2 system to act as a bilge pump. It's working. Nice job. Okay, good news. We're alive and we've stopped sinking. Bad? The oxygen's going to run out in 30 minutes and we're 500 meters down. What do we do? We'll have to use the remaining juice to send a distress call and build whatever gear we can. Then we find a way to the surface. That sounds like it was not a successful plan. I'd be shocked if we find them at any point, or any survivors, to be honest. Oh, right, Cyclops Depth Module Mark 1. Okay, so ruby, three rubies, plasteel ingots, no problem there. And Mark 2 and Mark 3. Nickel we don't have yet, and Kia Knight we definitely don't have. But we got Mark 2 and Mark 3 somehow. This open this does so much for me. Here's a question. Is there any way to reproduce deep shrooms? This feels like it's gonna be important because polyaniline needs hydrochloric acid, and hydrochloric acid needs deep shrooms. Is there any way to like with acid shrooms or deep shrooms to reproduce them? Like because I know how to plant them, but I don't know if that lets me cut them and make more or if I just have to go down here and that's all I can do. Benzene blood oil. Synth <sighs> this opens up a whole new world down here. This just opens up an entire... This land is a fertile land. Specifically, the, the blood place is, is like 
fertile as hell. This opens up a whole new life for me. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Here's my thought. I'm going to head back to base. And... No, I'm... God, God, there's so much that opened up here. Let me collect my thoughts. What is that? God damn it. I was about to get out, friend. I was about to get out, but you warned me. I appreciate that. You warned me. You told me this place is not safe. But it will be safe soon because... One of the things that I was look really excited to build was... I'm just ignoring it. See this. Poly this needs polyaniline. You know, I shouldn't ignore you. You're going to eat my, eat my ship. <gasps> no, I didn't mean to get out. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Yeah, so not a, not a safe place to just relax. So, but now that I have polyaniline, I can make a defense thing. Oh, there's just a... Oh, my God. There's This is exciting. So what can we do with blood oil? Advanced materials, hydrochloric acid. We need three blood oils to create a benzene. And the fact that it's so big just emphasizes that. I think the first place... Yeah, I, I think I need to bring my Cyclops... Okay. So. So. Here's my plan for the next couple of big things I want to do. First go back with my newfound materials and make a thermal reactor or thermal plant and power up the bulb zone base. Power up the bulb zone scanner room and see what I can find down there. Like see what wrecks I can explore there. Then do the same thing with the with Zappy Island. Once I've completed that and seen the wrecks around Zappy Island and around the bulb zone, I'm going to outfit my Cyclops as kind of a mobile base. I don't plan to bring it down into the water, but I do want to make it something that can sit at the top of the ocean if that's... Is, it reason, is that reasonably safe to like bring it... Is that a foolish plan at the, on its face, like to bring it to the top of like at, to the surface of, above the what's it called above I don't even know what it's called above that the zone I was just in with the blood oil um, and the like the spiny plants is that a bad idea because that that would be my next plan is to outfit it because a bunch of you had some great suggestions about like putting a grow bed on there and recharging its power and like giving it like power rechargers and that sort of thing which I definitely want to do and I think now I have a purpose for it. Now I've, there's value to it because I don't want to have to come back 1,500 meters every time I want to dump stuff off, especially when, like, I'm going to be needing a bunch of that of these. Um, yeah, so anyway, that's my plan for the next few big things I have. And along the way, I plan to craft a whole mess of crap. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.